The Great Salt Lake, one of the largest saltwater lakes in the Western Hemisphere, is in danger. For decades, it has been shrinking, and experts are now raising alarms about the future of this unique ecosystem. But what exactly is causing the Great Salt Lake to vanish? In this video, we will explore the facts and the factors behind its decline. From water diversion to changing weather patterns, let's look at the forces that are threatening this natural wonder. Before we dive into the causes of the lake's shrinking size, let's take a moment to understand just how important the Great Salt Lake is. Located in the northern part of Utah, the Great Salt Lake is the largest saltwater lake in the United States. It covers an area of about 1,700 square miles. Although this size varies depending on the time of year and rainfall, the lake is so salty that it's nearly 10 times saltier than the ocean. The Great Salt Lake has been a vital part of the region's ecosystem for centuries. It supports many species of birds, including migratory birds that stop here on their long journeys. Its shoreline is home to a variety of plants and animals, and its salty waters are used for industrial purposes, such as salt extraction and mineral production. However, the lake's future is uncertain. Over the past few decades, its water levels have been steadily decreasing. So, what's behind this troubling trend? One of the primary causes of the lake's shrinking size is water diversion. The Great Salt Lake has no outlet. This means that water flows into the lake but does not flow out. The water that enters the lake comes mainly from rivers that feed it, such as the Bear River, the Jordan River, and the Weber River. However, many of these rivers have been diverted for human use. Over the years, growing populations in Utah and nearby areas have demanded more water for agriculture, industry, and urban development. Large amounts of water are being taken from the rivers that would normally flow into the Great Salt Lake, meaning less water reaches the lake itself. For example, the Jordan River, which is one of the major contributors of water to the lake, has seen its flow significantly reduced due to water being diverted for farming and urban areas. The Bear River, too, has been impacted by water usage, particularly for irrigation purposes. As a result, the amount of fresh water reaching the Great Salt Lake has decreased over time, leaving less water to balance out the salt levels in the lake. As less fresh water flows into the lake, the salinity of the water increases, and the lake's size continues to shrink. This is a slow, but steady process with many parts of the shoreline retreating and leaving behind dry, exposed land. While human activities like water diversion play a major role, changing weather patterns are also affecting the Great Salt Lake. Utah is experiencing periodic droughts, which can reduce the amount of rainfall that reaches the lake. Droughts occur when a region gets less water than usual over a long period, leading to lower water levels in rivers and lakes. In recent years, Utah has faced severe drought conditions that have lasted for extended periods. These dry spells are becoming more common, and they further reduce the amount of water flowing into the lake. As the climate becomes warmer, it causes evaporation, which further depletes the water levels in the lake. The Great Salt Lake is also impacted by how much snow falls in the mountains around Utah. The snowmelt from these mountains is a major source of water for the lake. In times of drought, less snow accumulates in the mountains, leading to lower levels of runoff that feed into the rivers and, ultimately, the Great Salt Lake. With lower water inflow, higher evaporation rates, and less snowmelt, the lake's water level drops, leading to a visible shrinking of its size. The combination of these weather patterns and droughts is contributing to the lake's decline. Another factor contributing to the shrinking of the Great Salt Lake is the industrial use of its water. The lake's high salinity makes it a valuable resource for salt mining. Salt extraction is one of the main industries around the lake, and it has been ongoing for more than 150 years. Salt companies use the lake's water to extract salt by evaporating the water in large ponds. While this process does help meet the demand for salt in various industries, it also takes large amounts of water out of the lake. The water that is used in the salt extraction process does not return to the lake, which further reduces the amount of water in the system. In addition to salt extraction, other industries around the lake use its waters for minerals, brine shrimp harvesting, and even recreational activities like boating. These activities, while important to the local economy, place additional pressure on the already shrinking lake. The impact of industrial use on the Great Salt Lake is significant, 
and it adds to the overall strain on the lake's water levels. As more and more water is taken out for various uses, the lake's size continues to diminish. The shrinking of the Great Salt Lake is not only an environmental issue but also an ecological one. As the lake's water levels drop, the ecosystems that depend on it are in danger. The lake is an important stop for millions of migratory birds, including species like the American avocet, the Wilson's phalarope, and the eared grebe. These birds rely on the lake's rich food sources, such as brine flies and brine shrimp, which thrive in the salty water. As the lake dries up, the food supply for these birds is shrinking, putting their populations at risk. In addition to birds, other animals that rely on the lake's ecosystems, such as fish and invertebrates, may also be affected. The drying up of wetlands around the lake could have a ripple effect on the entire ecosystem. The shrinking lake also poses a health risk to nearby communities. As the lake's shoreline retreats, large amounts of exposed, dry lake bed are left behind. These areas can be sources of dust storms, which can carry harmful particles into the air. This dust, known as lake bed dust, can be a serious health concern, especially for people with respiratory conditions. So, what can be done to address the issues facing the Great Salt Lake? The situation is complex, but some solutions have been proposed to help restore and protect the lake. One key solution is to reduce water diversion. By managing water use more efficiently and ensuring that more water reaches the lake, it is possible to stabilize water levels and prevent further shrinking. Another potential solution is the restoration of wetlands around the lake. Wetland areas can help trap water and prevent it from evaporating too quickly. Wetlands also provide habitat for wildlife, including migratory birds, and help filter pollutants from the water. Conservation efforts by local governments, environmental groups, and businesses are essential to protecting the Great Salt Lake. However, these efforts must be balanced with the needs of the people who rely on the lake for water and industry. The Great Salt Lake's shrinking size is a serious issue with far-reaching consequences. It is caused by a combination of factors, including water diversion, drought, industrial use, and changing weather patterns. The effects of the lake's decline are already being felt by wildlife and nearby communities. While there is no easy solution, efforts to conserve water, protect ecosystems, and manage industrial use can help slow the lake's decline and, hopefully, restore some of its lost size. The future of the Great Salt Lake depends on our ability to find a balance between human needs and the protection of this important natural resource.